listen, listen to these numbers. They're kind of shocking, but I swear to you, they're true. The average woman has approximately 337 beauty products in her bathroom. I know, that sounds like crazy, right? A lot. The total valued estimated dollar amount for those products, approximately $3,000 worth of lotions, <laughs> potions, soaps, creams, everything that promises to lift, to tighten, to treat, to moisturize, to correct, uh, everything for your face, your eyes, and all ports south. So according to our next guest, our good friend, Dr. Yoon, we could all be saving a couple of those dollars in products by looking, I know this is gonna sound gross, by looking at your food, scraps, and leftovers. All right, well I come from a mother who always rubbed her face with oatmeal, put olive oil in her hair, and on her toes. And there you go. So why not? Dr. Anthony Yoon, the floor is yours, explain. Thank you. So believe it or not, the scraps, the peels, these things that you normally would throw away, they are chock full of nutrients. And these nutrients can actually make you look younger. And you do it all for free. Can I ask you something? We've known each other for years. You never seem to age. You don't have a wrinkle on your face. Do you use a lot of lotions and potions? Or do you use a lot of natural remedies? Why do you look so good? It's best to combine it. And I think the number one thing, obviously, is you want to lead a healthy lifestyle. And it's all moderation, you know? True. You know, you, it's, it's good to eat good fruits and vegetables, but at the same time, I have a slice of pizza here and there, too. Sure. Um, but yes, if you're going to take care of your skin, it, it has to be more than just what you eat, but it's also what you put on your skin. And the other benefit of using some of these actual food products to make you look younger is you don't have to worry about the chemicals that are put in it, the preservatives that are put in it, so you can save money, it's a great quick fix, and you can avoid potentially harmful chemicals. Okay, cool. So, we picked... Three of our studio audience members to help us out. There are people that have three very different issues. We have Debbie, Rosemary, and Adonica. Come on down. Rachel, Hi, thanks nice for doing this for you. us. So, well, we're going to start. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. Um, what are, take a seat. What, what is your issue? What is your problem? I've, I've been dyeing and bleaching my hair for too many years to count. Yeah. And it became straw, not hair. So I've spent the last two and a half years trying growing to get it, it out. Healthy. Yep, trying to get it healthy. And again. so now it feels like hair, but looks like this. And all of my new gray friends are part of my They're reality. They're inviting more friends over, right? And you're gonna fix it for me, thank well, you me. so Don't much. Well, not me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> so, all right. so, I see a bowl of potatoes, I'm actually yes. very nervous. So instead of spending all this money on hair dyes and the chemicals and going to the beautician. It is really rough on your hair, yep, what, what we do to our hair. Believe it or not, you can actually use potato skins to darken your gray hairs. Believe it or not, wow. it does work. So this is what you do. If this works, it's gonna get freaky at my house. <laughs> I'm gonna come home with a 20 pound sack of potatoes. So you take about a cup of potato skins. So we're gonna measure about a cup worth, maybe a do little bit Do we really more. need to measure them? Yeah, to be accurate, yes. I'm a, sir, I'm a physician, you know, we gotta be accurate. So that's about a cup. Would you like an extra CC of potato skin, doctor? <laughs> that probably would even help. A little more is always good. And then you wanna mix basically a cup of potato skins with about two cups of water. Gotcha. And then you go ahead and put a top on that and put it on heat and you wanna boil it. And okay. once it boils, you want to mix it up just a little bit, let it boil, and then simmer for about five minutes. Okay. After it simmers for five minutes, remove it from the heat and let it cool. And what you're going to have then is this water with the potato peels in it. Then take the potato peels and strain them out. There you go. And you can see you've got some nice brown potato peel water left over. But when she washes her hair, is it still going to be brown or does the potato no. skin just go away? So ideally what you do is you want to shampoo your hair, towel dry it after you rinse it out with normal tap water, and then you can use this as, a, as an actual second rinse and it will actually dye your gray hairs. How weird. So we're going to try it it's on her so today. It's so weird, right? Thank you for letting us put potato <laughs> juice on your head. Oh my God, she's like a real life Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna try it on her today. Can now, we change my nose then? Sure, we can put a new nose on you and slap some ears. But I think you're so gorgeous, you don't need it. Okay, now you need to use a good amount. A good amount. Would you mind holding that for me? Sure. Rachel, okay. there you go. And let's have you take your glasses off, because I don't want to drip on we your glasses We don't want to get potato here. starch on your glasses. And you need to use a good amount of it. And actually, let me uh, spray your hair down just a little bit first. You poor thing. <laughs> here we go. Doctor. Just for the dripping. <laughs> Here's your bowl of potato water. Here, how about I'll hold the bowl if you can hold the towel, because sure. I don't want her to get all wet. There we go. Okay, so all you do basically is you put that potato water into her hair. Sorry, a little bit. Of what does it feel like? Just Cold, wet, sticky. wet, and the smell, it, it, the aroma is... Smells like hot potato. <laughs> Pungent. And you want to use a good amount. So at home when you're doing this, the easiest thing is Is she going to smell like a potato when this is done? Oh, no, we'll actually, we'll towel dry it afterwards. Okay. Now, usually you want to rinse it right out through your hair and use as much as you can. And what a lot of people will do is actually they'll pour this into an empty shampoo bottle. Oh, so you can just, you know, sort of like you do with hair color. Yeah, and so afterwards then you can, I'm just gonna dry you off here. Thank you. Afterwards then you can use it after your shampoo, use it as a second rinse. If you take a peek, we actually have a before this and after. This is actually we can show much her. darker here than it is just right there. And we have actually a before picture. You it can is see. a lot darker. That Look is that. weird. It's stuck to your forehead. <laughs> I have my glasses on, so I can't see. I mean, it looks a little spanky because it's stuck to your forehead. But you can towel dry it, and it, and it actually will stay. Really cool. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. So this is Rosemary. Rosemary, what's your issue? Well, ever since I started going through my changes, I've started getting acne, mainly uh, on my chin. Yeah, you I know. I never had it as a child. And in our family... We have a little bit of that issue our whole lives. My mom, my sister, myself, yeah. Exactly, so we tend to think of acne as something that happens just in teenagers. But believe it or not, 35% of women in their 30s and 25% of women in their 40s suffer from adult acne. Now, usually it's not the huge eruptions that a lot of teenagers get, but it's kind of isolated to small areas, like the chin, yes. like what you have. Believe it or not, <laughs> there's a very all-natural remedy that works, and you use it without paying a penny, and it is Banana peels. I'm willing to try anything yes. at this point. So what you do is you no want to take... No offense, but it smells better than the potatoes. <laughs> you can have a meal. Potatoes, bananas. So what you want to do is you want to take a nice yellow ripe banana. A green banana will not work for this. You unpeel the banana and you eat the banana. Now eating the banana is not going to make your acne any better, but it tastes good. And then you want to take that leftover peel and cut literally about an inch wide square from it. What is you the take property in the banana skin that would help you with this? The property actually is that there are a lot of soothing elements. I'm going to have you just go ahead and just rub that against your chin. And there are actually a lot of soothing elements. There are antioxidants and there are fatty acids that will actually soothe the skin. Now, acne is essentially an inflammatory type of process. Right. Now, what you want to do is you apply this and you rub it to the acne-filled area until that, that uh, yellow peel turns kind of brown. And then you leave that residue on for a good half hour. Maybe while you finish watching Rachel Ray Show. And you leave that there, and then after about a half hour, gently wash it off with some warm water. You want to repeat it two up to three times a day, and within about three to four days, the majority of people find that their acne-filled areas are much, much better. Why does that to be... Why does it have to be a yellow banana? More nutrients have been absorbed into the skin? Yeah, and it's much softer. You know, if you've ever tried, uh, you know, you try to take the peel off. Yeah, exactly. Does that and feel see. gross, weird, no, sticky? No, it actually what? feels good. It's nice and mushy and so. But how long does she actually have to do that? How long does it take for that to turn brown? A uh, couple of minutes? Yeah, just or? a few minutes. Yeah, okay. so you may that even see, is. once you pull it off, yeah. You know, it's, it'll get there. You're it's already really, getting Yeah, you're starting brown. to get it. Yeah. But it will take a few minutes, and eventually you'll see that it's going to turn kind of brown. So in the at that morning, point, throw it away. Three times a day, too much. you got to go out and live your life. You can't be rubbing well, your face even with a banana. Well, even if you do it in the morning and do the evening, what you can do is you take a banana, you eat half of it in the morning, you leave the rest there. You keep trying to get us to eat, eat the banana. <laughs> but then it, it allows you to do one banana a day, and that's good for you anyway. Good for your skin. A banana a day. Keep that doctor away. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, Adonica, goddess, beautiful lady, what could possibly be your issue? Well, I cannot get a date because I have dry skin. If you can't get a date because of that tiny dry skin with that beautiful, beautiful mug, you ain't looking hard enough. <laughs>
But okay. Everybody gets dry skin, especially this time of the year. My hands are a mess this time of the year. So what's an all-natural remedy for the dry skin? All right, so what we use for dry skin, instead of spending all this money on fancy moisturizers, all you actually have to do is take an avocado, and after you're done with it, take the peel, and you can actually use the peel to improve your dry skin of your elbows, a good fact, of your right? knees, yeah. and of your heels. That's great. So the great thing is, is the, the shape of the avocado actually conforms very well to the shape of your elbow and of those other areas. And of and your heel. Yeah. So you take some time, basically, to rub that into your elbow. I'm going to have you go ahead and do that. And then we'll have you do it in your heel here in just a second. And it even fits better for your heel. So let's have, I'll take this one and go ahead and, and rub your heel. You can put your elbow down. And if you rub your other foot with a tomato, you get some good guacamole. <laughs> Why did you bring up olive okay. oil? My mom used to use olive oil on her feet. So what you want to do is you want to rub so, this for, yeah. for several minutes, okay, and then you allow it to basically dry. So you can stop now. And the good thing is that this actually has, no matter how well you clean out your avocado shell, there's always a little bit of that pulp left. And right. it's filled with great fats, fats that will moisturize your skin. Uh, it's also filled with antioxidants, and that will help to calm down a lot of the inflammation of that dry skin. But the contour of the avocado, and take a feel here, is right. it's nice and rough. And so you'll also so it's a bracing. Right. You'll exfoliate the area. So once you let that dry, let it sit for a good 15 minutes, okay, and let it just to kind of that to moisturize in. Wipe it off with some nice warm water, and then apply a little bit of. My mom wasn't crazy. Olive oil. Evo okay. on your feet. And it will soften the area right up. My mom also likes it as a hot oil treatment on your head as well. Thank you so much to Doctor Yoon and to all of our audience. Uh, Members, this has been like a surgical smorgasbord. Up next, I'm going to make a Mexican-style fish and chips, literally, in the kitchen.